NFTs are a new type of digital art that simply exploded into the scene in the last couple of months. This video clip of a spinning shoe sold for $38,000 and this animation of a rainbow cat sold for $590,000. This image of a cyberpunk sold for $1.5 million and if you think that's something, this clip over here sold for $6.6 .6 million. Absolutely crazy and if you're completely confused, you're not the only one. After all, these are just images and videos. I mean, they're available for free on the internet. In fact, you're watching them right now for free on YouTube. Why would anyone spend millions of dollars to buy these digital assets? Well, I dug into NFTs to wrap my head around what makes them unique, what they are, how they work, how people are making millions of dollars from them, and how other people are getting burned. Let's dig in. So NFTs are called non-fungible tokens. What the hell is fungible? Fun fungi, fungible, fungible, it's not a word we use. Now, if you look at a dollar bill, a dollar bill is considered fungible because you can take one dollar bill, replace it with another dollar bill, and even though it's a different dollar bill, it's still the same thing, it's still worth the same. And you can change it for a different dollar bill and it's still a dollar bill. That really means it's fungible. It means you can trade one for another. Now, dollar bills are fungible. Bitcoins are also fungible. You can take one Bitcoin, trade it for a different Bitcoin, and it's still worth a Bitcoin. It's still the same thing as far as you're concerned. Now, what is non-fungible? A piece of original art is non-fungible in the physical world, whether it's a Picasso, a Leonardo da Vinci, a Mona Lisa. You take a unique piece of original artwork and there is only one. You cannot fungi it. You cannot replace it with another piece of artwork. And NFTs fit that exact same space. They are digital, but they are non-fungible. It means that they are not replaceable. They are entirely unique. So this is really unique and really exciting. For the first time, you can create scarcity with something that is digital. Traditionally, if something is digital, you can copy it over and over and over again, and it's the same exact thing. Well, NFTs allow you to make something that is really, truly original and unique. You can only have that one unique signature of authenticity, and that's what makes it special. If you're still confused, take the simple example of Pokemon cards. The value of a Pokemon card isn't in the paper or the ink that it's printed on. It's in the rarity and collectability of that card. And that's exactly what's going on with NFTs and cryptocurrencies as well. This adorable little kitten is called a Crypto Kitty. And it was one of the very first NFTs that were out there. And the idea was that you could collect these Crypto Kitties by spending cryptocurrency on them and trade them like trading cards. And much like Pokemon cards in the physical world, you can trade and collect these cute Crypto Kitties in the digital world. Well, the team that developed Crypto Kitties is back at it again and they developed a new NFT called NBA Top Shots where you could buy and trade digital cards with players showing off their top moves. This move of LeBron James sold for over $200,000 and the cards were an instant hit because you could go buy an NFT and NBA Top Shots made it really accessible. You didn't really need to understand a lot of the cryptocurrency, Ethereum and all the other buzzwords. You could really sign up to the site use a credit card and buy a pack of cards for 20 bucks. And then if one of those cards was particularly valuable, you could really have a hit on your hands. And so it became an instant sensation, a lot of competition for these cards and instantly a marketplace was formed because these cards were both collectible and rare. Crypto Kitties and NBA Top Shots is a way to get into the space and it may be a little bit more accessible, but as you get deeper into NFTs, the technology for buying these things is a little bit complicated. Now, other NFT artists are trying to make their work a little more accessible by using traditional auction sites like Christie's. One digital artist named Beeble has been making digital art for the last 15 years. He's made most of his work available for free online and he's been posting an image every single day for the last 5,000 days. He's created a following within the digital art community. So when he decided to create an NFT, his community took notice. There's a lot of buzz around NFTs and there's a whole market being flooded with brand new NFT art. 
a lot. In fact, I think the majority of NFT art is going to end up being worthless. So just be really careful if you're shopping for NFT art or trying to get into the space. Now, so what makes this Crypto Kitty worth thousands and these other images worthless? Well, it comes down to the reputation of the artist and the desirability in the community. If the community is really excited about the artist, if the community is really excited about the particular piece of art, it creates more value. What makes the Mona Lisa more valuable and more important than another painting you could find from another artist? It's the rarity and the reputation of that artist. So if you're an established artist, celebrity, major brand, musician, your fan base may be really interested in your digitally authentic piece of art and maybe an NFT is a right way to go about it. But minting NFTs can be expensive, both in terms of electricity and resources. So just proceed with caution, especially if you're a new artist and haven't yet established that fan base. <laughs> Similarly, if you're buying NFTs to make money or flip for a profit, rather than as an art collector or a fan trying to support the particular artist, you want to be careful that you're buying something that has long-term demand and long-term liquidity because lots of NFTs may be inflated in the short term. And if you're buying an NFT and aren't really a fan or digital collector, you may not be able to find a digital buyer in the future. So just make sure you understand where you're buying. And if you're a collector or fan, this is just a new great way to support your artists and musicians directly by buying a piece of their digital digital work. 69 million. That's absolutely crazy. When I started this, it was listed at three, four, and I thought that was crazy. Well, NFTs are definitely here to stay. We are just at the beginning of this, and this is why people are getting so excited. It's absolutely nuts. Uh, <laughs> if you're interested in the space, definitely look for artists that you want to support by investing in their art, because this is a new way to support artists, musicians, and people who are creating amazing work. Until next time, I'm Greg Reyes. Rock on.